this guy's over here. He's, he's fishing. He's got a net run across something or another, and we just ran right over it. No clue if it's in our prop or not. Why do I ask him if it's caught? Don't there star the net! After arriving at Puerto Bahia Marina in Samana, Dominican Republic, we took full advantage of this luxury marina. After spending the last couple of months on the hook, it was nice to tie up, even though we had to keep pressing on before our weather window closed. The checkout process here was a breeze, and the exit fees we were forced to pay in Lupron were honored. Thank God we kept our receipt. This is it. We're leaving the DR. It's like mm, we're pushing six o'clock. It's we got a little bit of a late start. We're trying to check out of the marina and everything, but um, we're on our way. We're gonna sail through the night. Hopefully, we can make it there. Motor sailing um, before sunset tomorrow. It's gonna be a stretch. We might pull in a little bit in the dark, but that's okay. Um, but it just calmed down after this afternoon. It was blowing, not hard, but hard enough. And now we're gonna play the night leads all the way across. And um, I think we're gonna be good. We'll get sails up and we'll motor sail a bit just to give us a little, a little nudge if we need it. The most important piece of line on the boat. You wanna do sailing? Huh, buddy? Yeah, you do. Hey. What's up? We're on our way. On our way. To the United States of America. Puerto Rico. You excited? Yeah. I can't wait to get there in this long sail. Yeah, now we're going to grind it out again. They're not that bad. They're not that long. But overnights, they get tiring. We don't get a lot of sleep. On the chart plotter. We are here right now, making our way down here. We're gonna play the night lees as we sail along the shore. Oops. And then we're gonna shoot out. This isn't necessarily our course, but we have to stay north of that until we get past it, because there's a shoal here. It's a couple hundred feet deep, but it's a shoal. And since this is thousands of feet deep, this water comes up and makes nasty currents. So we're gonna stay clear north of that, and then we'll shoot south down here, cut in, and go to Puerto Real. Wow. Those guys are nuts. Yeah. Uh, we almost just hit those dudes. I can't believe they're out there in this shit. Two little canoes like that. And they were like closer to shore when we noticed them and then suddenly they're right in the hell in front of us like a damn jack-in-the-box they popped out of there yeah. God, that's scary. yeah it's all right no harm no foul kind of think they were coming to check us out kind of i don't know that's look they're, now they're going back to shore So it was about like 7.30 a.m. when we um, we were riding down the east shore of the Dominican. Suddenly there's this little yellow kayak right next to the boat. Oh, yeah. And this guy is fishing and he's got a net run on the surface of the water. Not even a chance. We went right over it. I Luckily, I can't believe we hit him either. Guys over here, he's, he's 
he's fishing. He's got a net run across something or another, and we just ran right over it. No clue if it's in our prop or not. He seems to think so. Do you know what he's saying? Ahora? Now? Ahora means now. How do I ask him if it's caught? Donde esta the net? No, gracias. He, aquí. All night we're dodging these guys in these little skiffs and they they barely have lights on their boat. Um, something to remember if you're sailing the Dominican. Yeah, look out for the little canoes or kayaks. But I was able to to put the, the engine in neutral just in time um, and I think the prop was still spinning and it stalled so I know we caught the net. I heard it. And then we drifted for a little bit and I kicked it in reverse and just kind of revved it for a second hoping it would unwind and it must have worked because suddenly we didn't seem to be dragging I didn't see the net under the boat and we just kind of slowly took off um, and the guy was trying to super nice he's trying to like give us fish <laughs> but waves are pretty big I wasn't about to try and get close to him so he can hand us a little fish but that was a nice gesture sail so we're motoring going straight into the wind straight into the waves uh, it was a whole night of that shit until we decided to go more south go closer to shore then it got better and we were actually going to stay and go the south route go to Punta Cana and then Mona Island and then Puerto Rico but then we remembered that we checked out of the Dominican already so it would have been a whole like ordeal. We'd have to check back in and da 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 da. If we would have made it to Mona Island, I don't think you can check into Puerto Rico there, and then you can't go to shore at the the park. Right. And we have a dog, so we couldn't go to shore. And we might could have been stuck there for like yeah, three so days. Arthur would have been stuck on the boat for days. That's just not a good friend. So we decided to go for it, well at least see how it was, and actually it's great, we're sailing, we have almost a beam reach, um, and we're going about between five and six knots, so it's like perfect. We um, left Saturday evening, and we'll get there Monday morning. I figured it would be 32 to 36 hours. So we'll see how long it takes. But if it stays like this, it gets better, it doesn't get any worse, it's great. We've been watching these uh, solar panels all night. Um, it was pretty rough for a while, they were moving a bit. But just in this condition, they seem okay. Not much more movement than my other panel. They all sat down to leave a picnic. Maybe you look sexy. Maybe you? Yeah. Since we arrived at night, and this was unfamiliar territory, we dropped the hook outside of Puerto Real and waited till morning to come in.
We pulled into Marina Pescadaria for a few nights to run some errands and get some packages delivered. It had been a while since we had a Home Depot right up the road. And Arthur appreciated the walk after the long passage. We passed up the marina washing machine since our collection of soiled laundry was serious. We also took advantage of the on-site rental cars to do a little sightseeing with our friends Ryan and Sheena from Seize Life for Good. Do yourself a favor and make a trip up to Rincon on the northwest corner of Puerto Rico. Only a few miles south of Puerto Real is the beach town of Bocaran. It's pretty chill on the weekdays, but the party really gets going Friday to Sunday. It's like a little Puerto Rican Key West. It's no secret, Puerto Ricans love their weekends. Bocaron. Um, just pulling out of the bay. It was a fun weekend. It was cool. The town is like a cool little weekend party town and uh, we didn't indulge too hard but we checked it out. It was fun. It was a cool little spot. Um, and you hear the party all night and <laughs> early in the morning from the anchorage. But that was cool. Um, so we are heading, making our way east along the south shore of Puerto Rico. Um, it's a beat into the trade winds and so we're going to do early morning hops and try to get out and move before the wind picks up uh, each morning. Here's our route today. Just kind of skirting around the corner of Puerto Rico. Give you an idea. We're just right around the corner there. Should only be about three to four hours. Kelly right now is doing a little research using uh, Bruce's book. Also some information we got from our uh, marina in Puerto Real. He has some really good kind of paragraphs about each of the anchorage stops. Super helpful. Super nice. Nice guy. Jose at Marina Pescadaria. We have about three hours till our first potential anchorage. And um, we don't really know where we're going yet. We just know we want to get there before like 11 a.m. Should be a, a calm day for winds relatively, but um, you know, along here, calm doesn't mean that calm. So we're gonna try and get there 
wherever we can before the uh, wind picks up. Drop the hook, explore, and then decide where we go tomorrow. Arthur doesn't really seem to care either way. we need your help. We have some pretty amazing fans in an awesome little pirate ship here, but we have room for more on board. So subscribe now and tell a friend. You can also share us on Facebook and Instagram and keep up with our daily posts, as well as our website, sailingsatori.life. If you want to see even more from us, visit our Patreon page, where you'll see extra footage and personalized updates. Every effort keeps a little wind in our sails and helps us keep making awesome videos for you guys.